Every time you think your thoughts and your feelings that arise are yours, your mind has delusion in it. Your mind is confused, and you are causing yourself pain. Now, here's something real interesting. One of the major mm, illnesses in this country right now is depression. I can tell you exactly how depression arises. I can tell you exactly how to get rid of it without taking any drugs. But you got to do it. Now, when, when depression arises, what actually happens in your mind? You have a feeling arise, and it's a painful feeling. And then your mind grabs onto that and says, I don't like that. Now, the I like mind and the I don't like mind is craving. Right after there's this tension that comes up, then there's all of the thoughts, all of the opinions, all of the ideas, all of the concepts about why this feeling came up. And then your old habitual tendency, your habitual way of looking at the world gets more and more involved with that. Now, what do you try to do when a painful feeling arises? Now, we have five aggregates that make up this body-mind process. You have physical body. You have feeling, data. Feeling is pleasant, painful, or neither painful nor pleasant. We have perception. Perception is the mind that names things. You see this? It's a flower. Perception is a part of the mind that put that name on that, and it has memory involved with it. You have thoughts, and you have consciousness. These are the five aggregates. When a painful feeling arises, our habitual tendency is to try to think the feeling away. Now, the more you try to think the feeling, the bigger and more intense that feeling becomes. So you get more and more depressed because you're trying to control a feeling with your thoughts. But thoughts are one thing. And feelings are something else. Never the two shall meet. So what do you do? Now, when I was telling you about uh, what you do when a, when a painful sensation arises while you're meditating, I'm telling you to first let go of the thoughts. Don't be involved with the content of the thoughts. Let the thoughts be without getting involved in it and relax the tightness caused by that distraction. Now you see the feeling for what it really is. It's a painful feeling, it's true. But it's Okay, for a painful feeling to be there, it has to be, because that's the truth. When a painful feeling arises, it is there. So you allow the space for that painful feeling to be there. And relax. Then you come over to your smile and wishing happiness for someone. The more you do that, the less and less distracted your mind becomes until finally there is no more depression. This isn't a maybe. 
This is the way it really works. But it takes practice to do that. And that means practice with smiling, practice with laughing. And every time you laugh at how crazy your mind is, you're not crazy anymore. That is changing your perspective from a tight observation of I am that to an observation of it's only that. See, when you have that tight observation, your mind tightens around it and you wind up getting headaches. Somebody asked me not too long ago, when was the last time I had a headache? I said, well, I don't really remember. Maybe three or four years ago. It might have been longer. I don't know. I don't get headaches. Why? Because I see the tightness starting to happen and I start relaxing right then. Then I don't have any headaches. Do I need to take aspirin? No. Why would I want to do that? 